All right, guys. So this bit of information I'm going to be talking about has been on the internet for a few days now, but I chose not to talk about it because since it was data mined, it wasn't officially announced yet. So to be safe, I decided not to talk about it, but now I can because the official Dragon Ball website app is now up. So um, this is the app right here. And the data mine was talking about a brand new Dragon Ball Super movie happening in 2022. But as you can clearly see on the screen, yes, this is the ultimate confirmation. We are going to be getting a brand new Dragon Ball Super movie next year. Now, if you want to go to the specific article within the app in the home page, if you press featured and as it loads up, uh, if you scroll over to the anime section and where it shows show global articles and you press on, then you will see the pop up right here with the urgent announcement, new Dragon Ball Super movie coming in 2022. So we're going to go into this, uh, read what it has to say, and then I'll give my thoughts about the whole situation. So it says, huge announcement, new Dragon Ball Super movie planned for 2022. Check out Akira Toriyama's comment. A new Dragon Ball Super movie is set to be released in 2022. We've even received a comment from Akira Toriyama himself just for you on the official site. And his comment says, an all new movie since Dragon Ball Super Broly is currently in the making. Just like the previous movie, I'm heavily leading the story dialogue production for another amazing film. I really shouldn't talk too much about the plot yet, but be prepared for some extreme and entertaining bouts, which may feature an unexpected character. We'll be charting through some unexplored territory in terms of the visual aesthetics to give the audience an amazing ride. So I hope everyone or everybody will look forward to the new movie. Okay, now one, the fact that we're getting a brand new Dragon Ball movie is already big because one thing that most people were waiting for was the continuation of the anime. We all know that obviously after the Tournament of Power, we had Broly, which was honestly the best Dragon Ball movie we have ever gotten, ever. But then afterwards, the manga continued, but we never got anything else after Broly in terms of the anime, if you wanna include the movie as part of the anime as well. So now that we're getting this, this raises the question, what exactly are they going to do, right? Now, Akira Toriyama is saying that it may feature an unexpected character. Now, though it may be unexpected, like it, it he could have said it could feature a brand new character in a sense right because it's not as if people are daft to you know it we're not unaware of the likes of for example moro and granola right so those two arcs respectively if they're going that route i have no issue with that whatsoever honestly whatever they decide to do i really have no issue whatsoever but if they just decided to make like the moral arc into a movie then in truth i really do think they should make it its own arc but it is what it is right or they can do something in between the broly movie and the moral arc with something completely brand new now personally speaking i love the fact that in dragon ball super broly they found a way to make broly canon they made gogeta canon we uh they ultimately made Gene canon because she wasn't in i think uh any manga uh for dragon ball like official manga i should say I, I could be wrong on that but they made a lot of characters that used to be non-canon canon so if i'm not mistaken the one character i know a lot of people wanted to become canon after broly is cooler and i'm completely down for that i would absolutely love to see how they implement cooler in dragon ball super now remember when we had cooler in you know the cooler movie the first one they kind of just threw him in as frieza's older brother he heard that frieza got bodied tried to find the person who bodied him and then just try to do his thing right there are so many events that have happened throughout that point from the frieza saga all the way to the tournament of power that if they throw in cooler for that purpose it won't really hit home anymore right because like there were a multitude of points where cooler could have came through to quote unquote avenge frieza even though we all know cooler really does not care about frieza like that but you guys get my point 
there are a multitude of points where Cooler could have came in and have done something, but never did. So I don't think it's going to be that. Although if it does end up being Cooler, I would absolutely love to see what they do, right? But where my mind stands at right now, I genuinely do think that this is probably gonna end up being the moral arc. Now, that's not to say that they can't like make a movie and then if the anime does end up coming back, then they flesh out the Broly movie and the moral arcs to like, you know, their own respective arcs in the anime respectively. So I don't know, like it, it makes sense for them to go the moral arc route because that's literally what happens after Broly and they really didn't, you know, make any in-between point, I should say, but again only time will tell like they could literally do whatever they want and make it work if they wanted to now the other thing with this is this is new dragon ball media right which means that of course if we get a brand new movie that's going to affect the games as well and if it ends up being like okay if it ends up being something like cooler I will take it because it'll be a Dragon Ball Super Cooler. And last time I checked, or at least for a comparison, I like the Super iteration of Broly way more than the Z iteration of Broly, like night and day, right? So if they did something similar with Cooler, I'm pretty sure I would like Dragon Ball Super Cooler more than Dragon Ball Z Cooler, even though Dragon Ball Z Cooler is, you know, cool, no pun intended. But if it ends up being Moro, if it actually ends up being Moro, we can finally see that character in a video game. Realize that we have the manga and the manga has been out for a long while, but last time I checked, they don't really add characters from the manga into the video games because the video games are always based, or I should say primarily based on the anime and the movies. So if they end up adding Moro into a movie, then we can probably finally get him in a video game, which would be absolutely unreal. It would bring something fresh to the table. Um, honestly speaking, I would love to see who would voice act the character, etc., etc. But as it stands right now, we genuinely have no idea, but it leaves so much room for speculation. And that is what I'm the most excited about leading up to this brand new movie we will be getting next year. So that's really all there is to it again this information was floating around on the internet for a few days but i wanted to stay on the safe side and not talk about it until it was officially announced because last thing i want is to get copyright struck by like toei or you know whatever the case may be look i i, I don't want any copyright strikes on my channel <laughs> okay but all in all though yes the new dragon ball super movie is 100 percent confirmed to be coming next here but i do want to know what you guys think about all of this in the comment section below but with that being said i'm Adakuba. like share and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video